Roster Mania is here. What's going on guys? It's your boy Apathy and we're here live with Roster Mania 2015. I will be your co-host Apathy. And today we're going to be talking about Roster Mania, something that's been wonderful, something that's been exciting, putting just pure adrenaline into your blood stream. So pretty much basically guys, I'm going to be telling you some info, some what I think, some what I don't think, you know, teams, which teams are going to be forming, etc. So first off, we have Denial. Denial, looking for one. Currently, the roster is Slasher, Huke, and Tap. Honestly, a sick best of three. I've seen these guys play very, very, very talented. When I mean very, I mean emphasis on the very. These guys are very talented players. They play second at Washington, D.C. Almost, well, not, they didn't, they didn't come too close to beating Optic, but they still put a good fight. They still got all the way to grand finals. You know, these guys are really good. I've seen Hugh pull some magician type of shit, so it's going to get real. What I've been hearing around the block and when I actually talked to them on Sunday night, they actually were thinking about picking Classic, and Slyke did tweet, he did tweet that that Nick is leaving to Denial. So, it's sort of official, but nothing is set in stone yet. He hasn't tweeted he's joined Denial, he hasn't tweeted anything, Denial hasn't tweeted, Slash hasn't tweeted, they picked him up yet. So, they are probably looking at him right now, and they probably want to pick him up, but maybe due to contracts, maybe due to something, maybe it's not official yet, but... We might see it become official very soon. Also, for the next team, you have TK. TK is currently looking for one. I would love to play for TK because Nuzzle is my duo, and we've been shutting shit down since 1994. No, I went too far. That's when I was born. Actually, in 2014, you see, we got second in X Games, and we made people look like a little steam. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm rapping, but I'm insane because if you knew me from the game, I would show you backhand like a pain. All right, that freestyle wasn't the best, but... Nameless pretty much left or he was released, however you want to say it. Uh, things just weren't working out with them. They decided to look for one player. Not sure who they're picking up yet, but whoever they pick up, I know they're about to be dominant. They just got to get back in the grind. They just got to start working hard for it. And with Worlds coming up, I know they're going to put in a time. These guys are veteran players. We're talking about Sharp, Neslo, Theory. These guys have played second many times. And no, they haven't got first yet, but I know they'll achieve it soon enough. And now for TCM. So... It's just in. Aix is a free agent for Worlds. Interesting. TP is a free agent as well. Who else? Fears. He was released as well. Now, Jerd. Jerd is actually going to be the leader of TCM. He's going to be the head of TCM. With those three players released, they could go anywhere. They could go to Rise. They could go to TK. They could go to Denial. But even though I think Classic is going to be going on Denial. So, who is Dirt going to pick up? That is a very good question. He could pick up almost three any players. Will he form a God Squad? I don't know about God Squad. But, Dirt is obviously a good player. A lot of people see him as a very good player. He's going to build a team around him. He has time, you know, potentially replays as a, as a sub-objective hill. Even though he kind of does that, two players like that's good. And then he's going to need two ARs. Now, who may that be? That's a good question. We have two ARs in mind that are free agents at the moment. Nameless, Mochilla. Uh, I don't know. He might pick one of those up, and then from there, it could be anyone. It's going to be interesting. People might even sketch for Jerk. Find out the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, Optic Nation is probably the last team looking for one. Now, who do we have in mind when we think of Optic Nation? Well, they're looking for an AR. The only AR that has left is Nameless and replaced. So, and Nameless is like butt buddies with all three of them. Now, but I've heard some rumors. Anyone on ON can leave. Pretty much. Except for contracts, maybe. I don't I don't know what the contracts if they have or But But Mir is a very talented player. Pretty underrated in this game. May he leave? He might leave. To what team? We don't know. Maybe form under TCM. Jerd and Mir in one team. That's pretty dominant. Put two ARs in there or a, a slow AR and aggressive AR. That could be dominant. Now, who might Optic Nation pick up? That's a great question. Now, Bose and Mir are pretty much subs. If we, if we, if we pretty much see them not leaving. So, Ricky is pretty much an AR. Support AR. So, they need a Slayer AR. Could be nameless. Like I said, could be. But, we're not sure yet. Now, is there any other ARs available? Aix? Maybe. Aix really has to prove himself and he has to really convince them though. People aren't taking Aix too serious right now. After I left Rise, they are currently looking for one player. They still kept the same roster at the moment. It's Weeds, Chino, and Burns. Honestly, great players. When I first joined the team, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I didn't expect them to be this good. You know, I've never played with them 
and I haven't played against them much. I obviously knew they were talented, but they honestly surprised me. I think Wheat is a great player. I think Chino is an amazing player. He has his moments in search when he clutches up. I'm just like, I think Burns is a great player, great hill player. I feel like he's really talented. He hasn't like unlocked his potential yet, but I just feel like once he gets there, he's going to be insanely good. This kid's been insanely good in general, but you know, he has his moments. And I call him kid when he's older than me. But you know what I mean. He has his moments where he might maybe not do too good on one map. But nobody's perfect. I say the same thing because I have the same thing. You know, there's maps here and there where I don't perform as well as I should have. And it sucks. It hurts you. But in the end of the day, practice makes perfect. You got to go home. You got to work harder. Now, who can they pick up? That's a great question. There's a lot of free agents. There's fears. There's TP right now. There's more. Replays. The list goes on and on. So guys, hope you enjoyed Roster Media today. This is it for me. A lot of shit going down, a lot of stuff going down. Where am I going? That's a great question. You might find out today, you might find out tomorrow. Hopefully everything can get settled in. I'm excited, I'm pumped. Look at my shoulders, I'm fucking Super Saiyan. Honestly, I, I, I need to start hitting the gym again. I've been, I've been slacking, man. I've been losing a lot of muscle. I got it, I got it. I'm going to get it for you guys. I'm going to go hard for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy, Apti. You guys are freaking beautiful today, and I'm out.